Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Lauren Drain. And today's topic, I wanna to talk about F the scale. Yep, you heard that right. Basically, I tell all my clients, all my friends, all my followers, please do not obsess over the scale. Coming from a nursing background, a fitness instructor, the scale is not everything. The scale is not the most important thing and you shouldn't obsess over it. on basically what I do. Um, I'm in the fitness industry. I do fitness training. Um, I help clients get, get transformations. Thousands and thousands of clients get transformations um, with the lifestyle training. I run a challenge, a six week challenge about every eight weeks and I've been doing this for like four years. So I've had thousands of clients transform their bodies and I've also transformed my body several times doing fitness shows and competitions. And I just wanna kinda tell you guys what it's like to think about the scale, why it needs to be used, why it shouldn't be used, and all the myths and things surrounding the scale. So first off, I'll tell you a little history on me before I got into fitness. About five years ago, um, I started deciding I needed to get in shape, get in the best shape of my life. Um, I was about 27, 28 years old, and I was about 140 pounds, um, maybe like 25% body fat, maybe a little bit more. Um, just basically what you would call skinny fat, I wasn't, I didn't have, wasn't too out of shape. I wasn't toned. I wasn't super fit. I was just regular, average, skinny, fat body type. But I wanted to get in the best shape of my life. So I decided to sign up for, for a fitness competition. Well, I was probably around 140 pounds. And I thought that I had needed this like magical number of like 120 or 125 pounds to feel beautiful, to feel fit, and to feel right. And I had it stuck in my head that I needed this magical number. Um, I'm not sure where exactly it came from. I'm about five foot five, and I just thought that that was what I needed to be. I probably wasn't 125 pounds since like before college, or maybe beginning of college, so, but I thought that's what I needed to be. When I signed up for a fitness competition, I, in about nine weeks, I trained hard, I dieted, I did my cardio, and I got down to about 122 pounds stage weight so this is like 12 to 15 percent body fat it's actually super lean super dry a lot leaner than what you would walk around at abs popping everywhere no body fat anywhere looking kind of lean even bones were showing in certain spots it was my first show and i thought whoa um after that you don't maintain stage weight walking around because you're depleted with everything you know you haven't been eating carbs you haven't been drinking water things like that so I started to maintain my body around, back up to like 126 to 130. And slowly over the years, as I've been training and lifting and being in the gym and working out a lot, I've gained a lot of muscle. I've still maintained a relatively lean body fat percentage, but I have gained a lot of muscle. So now I walk around right around like 135 to 145, depending on my body fat percentage. Right now I'm around 135 but I do not check my weight all the time. I have to be honest with you guys. I do not check the weight. And all of my clients will tell you that is, I actually teach my clients, please don't obsess over the scale. In fact, please don't even check the scale because for all intents and purposes, scale weight and how your body is weight, how much you weigh can, can fluctuate like five pounds in a day, depending on how much you eat, how much water you drink, how much salt you took in, how much you sweat, if you're hormonal, if you're constipated, if you just ate, if you just went to the bathroom, all these things and factors affect your weight and can fluctuate pounds of difference. So what I tell my clients, what I tell you guys is please don't obsess on the scale because weight is not everything. And coming from my nursing background, I'll tell you the same thing. You know, I had clients who had heart failure and they, their weight fluctuated all the time due to water, salt intake, electrolyte imbalances, um, things like that. And it's not all about your body fat percentage. Body fat is only one element of your weight and everything else can completely change as well. So for me, I don't actually use that as the best indication of progress. What I do for myself and my clients is take pictures every single week, forward, back, and side, so you can see all angles of the body. I also say take measurements. So using uh, measurements of inches or centimeters, you can measure different parts of your body, 
the waist, the hips, the glutes, the, each th individual thigh, the biceps, any part of your body that you want to change, measure that weekly because you will see significant changes even within a week. Uh, it could be a, a quarter inch all the way to a, an inch or two inches, especially off the waist and midsection. So these are excellent indicators of progress. And the thing is you can lose inches in certain areas like inches of fat and still gain muscle at the same time. You can lose inches of fat. You can also gain inches in certain places from gaining a muscle mass, but you actually end up appearing leaner, toned with a tinier waist. My waist now is much smaller than it ever was in the past. And I weigh at baseline, I have right around 135 to 145. And that's five pounds heavier than when I started my whole fitness journey. So I will tell you guys, it is important that you gain muscle mass. Please don't upset for the scale. Please don't get discouraged when you see the numbers changing. And at, at the end of the day, please don't even look at the scale every day. The scale, especially the scale that only gives you the weight numbers, can really discourage you and make you feel like you're not making progress, but it's not the only thing. What I do use though, what I have started to use is a digital body, a digital body analyzer because this can actually tell you different body composition parts and how those are affected, those percentages and how those can change. So I can actually start to track the trend of my body fat percentage. I can track the trend of my muscle mass, my bone density, the water weight, all those things are fluctuating. And so I can kind of tend to see like if I'm, you know, gaining muscle, if I'm losing fat, those type of things and, and use a baseline for that. Like I said, myself, I've gained, I've lost inches and gained weight at the same time, especially anytime I'm in the gym lifting a lot of heavy weights. And if I'm eating a lot of food, carbs, I'm feeding those muscles, I'm growing the muscles, I'm grow I might even be growing inches of muscle, losing inches of fat, gaining weight. So at the end of the day, I always tell you guys, I know that as for some reason in society, they've driven it home that the number on the scale is the only thing that matters for progress. It absolutely does not. I have tons of clients in my challenge that are losing inches and they, their weight doesn't even change. It stays at zero change for six weeks straight. And the next thing you know, they look shredded. Their waist looks lean. They look cut. They look amazing. They look toned. And I have other clients that actually lose inches and gain weight because they're gaining so much nutrition, hydration, um, muscle mass, and they're actually getting super fit and toned and they appear to look way more snatched, way more ripped, way more lean, and they are actually gained weight. So if you let the numbers on the scale, especially when it's just weight affect you and make you become discouraged, it will actually pro prohibit your progress. It'll actually keep you from, you know, wanting to continue your diet, wanting to be in the gym, making you feel like you're make, you know, you're not making any progress. But the the but the fact of the matter is, you are making progress, and you really want to start to get into the habit of using pictures, measurements as your main um, as your main indication of progress. That's what I do for myself. That's what I do with my clients. But if you do need some form of visual indication that your weight is changing or that your body composition is changing, I would highly recommend just using a digital body analyzer. I'll show you guys the one that I use. Um, Vanity Planet has an amazing one so you can track those numbers, the, you know, the body fat percentage, the weight, the, the muscle mass and the bone density to see where those numbers are fluctuating and if you're trending in the right direction. I would say only use it about once a week max because you really don't want to obsess and focus on things when the body tends to fluctuate even with, within a day. But I would say it's amazing. It's an amazing skill to use if you're going to use the scale because it's a body digital analyzer and it can, it can measure all those different things. Um, so I'll show you guys how I use it. Um, I also, I decided to team up with them cause I, this is the only scale I do want to use for myself and my clients. And I have a code for you guys to get $50 off. Check out the description below. I'll, uh, I'll put a link in there for you guys, but yeah. This is what I do, truly believe in. I don't think that progress is measured in terms of a number. A certain no body fat, I'm sorry, a certain number on the scale is not gonna indicate how you feel about yourself. And there's no magical number that you need to be for your height or for your stats or anything like that. At the end of the day, we all have different body shapes and body styles. And someone looking at me might not even have known that I weigh like 145 pounds. They might just know, wow, she looks lean, she looks good, she looks fit and they're not even gonna get care that I'm not 125 pounds. That magical number that I thought I had to be and I used to obsess about and look at on the scale and always try to meet, read that number. And any, anytime I was above 125, I felt like I was fat or overweight or not fit, which is absolutely not true. 
Um, like I said, I've gained over 10 pounds of muscle in the last four or five years, and I look more cut, more lean. I have like nice curvier legs, nice curvier bum. I have a tinier waist, and um, but like I said, I weigh more. So who's to say that numbers on the scale really matter? But like I said, if you do want a way to track your progress that actually indicates something that does matter, which is your body fat percentage, water weight, muscle mass, etc., check out these, this. Uh, I'm just going to show you guys how to use it. Um, it's a digital body analyzer by Vanity Planet. Hey guys, so I just wanted to show you the digital body analyzer that I use. Like I said, I only use it about once a week or every couple weeks to check my trends. Um, but I'm going to show you how to use it. There's a way to dial in your information, your height, your weight, your age. If you're athletic or an athlete, you can plug that in as well. So in here, you can go ahead and stand on it. it takes a second to calculate. Okay, so I programmed it for an athlete. 55.8% water, 34.3% muscle mass, 6.8 pounds of bone density, 21.9% body fat at 140.4 so yeah that's what it's saying I am right now so it is pretty accurate guys and what you basically want to do is get a baseline um, calibrate it for your height weight and age get a baseline and then as you go throughout your training and your diet and you want to check your weekly updates you can um, see the trends of it changing with body fat percentage muscle mass and things like that but yeah each time you get it, you want to calibrate it for your height, weight, and age because obviously it's going to be different for different heights, different weights. It's also different um, if you're male or female, if you're an athlete or not, it'll calculate that for you as well. So you can definitely program it a little more specific to your lifestyle. Yeah, so I hope you like this video. I'm going to give out some more content related to fitness, uh, educating you guys on how I train, on how I eat, on how I track my progress, and how I keep a fitness lifestyle. Um, I always try to do like an 80-20 balance of everything where I live my life, but I continue my fitness habits, I continue my fitness things, and I still enjoy life at the same time. So stay tuned for more videos. Um, hope you liked it. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. Turn on post notifications to see all of my videos and content in the future. And uh, let me know what else you guys would like to see or what other videos I should cover. Thank you.